The CW's Arrow may have ended its eight-season run, but the legacy of Oliver Queen will live on in the lives of the heroes he inspired. Throughout the show's timeline, our deeply flawed hero strives to become better. In doing so, he saves his city and the entire multiverse. Oliver Queen is the oldest son of billionaire developers Robert and Moira Queen. Always a restless bad boy, Oliver is mostly interested in getting in trouble with his lifelong friends Tommy Merlin and Laurel Lance. Though he occasionally spends time with his sister Thea, he spends most of his time partying, sleeping around, getting kicked out of expensive schools, and otherwise wasting time because of boredom and apathy. The only thing he takes seriously is his relationship with Laurel. Though when they're about to move in together, Oliver panics and sleeps with Laurel's younger sister, Sarah. One fateful day, Oliver takes a voyage on a yacht with his father, Sarah, and a few others. Unbeknownst to them, Tommy's sinister father Malcolm has sabotaged the boat. When it explodes at sea, Sarah is swept overboard, but Robert, Oliver, and an assistant survive. Adrift in a life raft, Robert tells Oliver, the family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. He puts the burden of redemption on Oliver. Knowing there isn't enough food for all three of them, he decides to shoot himself and his assistant, but not before giving Oliver one final command. Survive. This begins a series of events that reveal Oliver's tenacity and his great fortune in the number of people who help him. Oliver makes it to the shore of an island he later learns is called Lian Yu, which means purgatory in Chinese. While burying his father, he discovers a notebook in his pocket, which he takes with him. When Oliver encounters a man named Yao Fei Gulong, his life changes forever. Yao Fei turns him over to a mercenary named Edward Fires, who is in the middle of a complicated assassination plot. Oliver learns that Fires is holding Yao Fei's daughter Shadow hostage and frees her with the help of a mercenary sent to stop Fires named Slade Wilson. During the course of this adventure, Oliver receives combat training from Wilson, archery training from Shadow, and survival training from Yao Fei. He proves to be a quick study in each, as nothing is more motivating in acquiring a skill than being threatened with death. Oliver kills Fires and stops his plan, but not before Yao Fei is killed. Soon, a whole new problem arises. A ship called the Amazo and a mad scientist, Dr. Anthony Ivo. Ivo is looking for a strength and agility boosting serum called Mirakuru, and doesn't care who he has to kill in order to find it. Oliver winds up on his ship, where he meets future ally and enemy Anatoly Kanasev. To his great surprise, Sarah Lance is on the ship as well, and is seemingly working with Ivo. However, she helps Oliver and Anatoly and joins the others on the island. Ivo gives Oliver a choice of whom he will kill, and when Oliver jumps in front of Sarah, Ivo kills Shadow. A dying Wilson is giving the Mirakuru, which boosts his powers but drives him insane. In a pitched battle on the Amazo, Oliver stabs Wilson in the eye with an arrow, but Sarah is swept out to sea. Oliver wakes up to find that he's been conscripted to work as an assassin for the spy organization Argus. His travels take him to Hong Kong, Starling City, and all the way back to Lian Yu. Eventually, he leaves his boss Amanda Waller and Argus behind, traveling to Russia to make good on a promise he once made. Kill a powerful Russian mobster named Konstantin Kovar. Oliver nearly winds up getting killed by the Bratva, another Russian mob trying to find Kovar. He's spared by Anatoly, a Bratva member whose life Oliver saved on the Amazo. When Anatoly learns that Oliver wants to kill Kovar, I'm here to kill Konstantin Kovar. He tells him his only chance is with the help of the Bratva. That means joining up. Of course, membership is rather exclusive, requiring a series of horrific pledge tasks before he's initiated. Oliver is captured and tortured by Kovar, and learns that the Bratva cut a deal with his enemy. All seems lost until Talia Algul comes along and rescues him. My name is Talia. I've been looking for you. Oliver learns that the contents of the book he retrieved from his father is a list of every corrupt person in Starling City, and Talia convinces him that they must die. He decides it's time to go home. Returning home, Oliver reunites with his mother, Thea, and Tommy, and begins his crusade against the corrupt businessmen on the list. He kills some and forces others to pay back stolen money, shouting his signature catchphrase, You have failed this city! After various attempts on his life, Moira assigns a security guard, named John Diggle, to watch over Oliver. Oliver first tries to ditch him, then eventually makes him the first member of what will become Team Arrow. A brilliant information specialist named Felicity Smoke is the next to join the team. Oliver learns that a number of prominent businessmen, including his mother and Malcolm Merlin, are part of what they call the Undertaking. They plan to set off an explosion that will trigger an earthquake, causing destruction in the Glades, a low-income section of Starling City. In a failed attempt to stop the Undertaking, Oliver seemingly kills Merlin, the ringleader of the plan. But Tommy dies as well. Grief-stricken, Oliver returns to Lian Yu, abandoning his role as the Hood. Diggle and Felicity travel to Lian Yu to bring Oliver back. 
but this time he wants to seek justice without killing. Now calling himself the Arrow, he rescues his sister Thea from Hood Copycats and gains a new ally, Roy Harper. A new vigilante seemingly obsessed with the Lance family also appears. To Oliver's shock, it's Sarah, who is not only alive but is now an ex-member of the League of Assassins. Oliver has to deal with Sebastian Brother Blood, who becomes mayor of Starling City under sinister circumstances. The man behind the throne is a crazed Slade Wilson, who uses his Mirakuru-laced blood to develop an army of super soldiers. Oliver is aided by his new friends, Barry Allen, Cisco Ramon, and Caitlin Snow, who investigate Brother Blood's crimes on leave from Central City. Slade kills Moira Queen and betrays Blood when he sends his army in to destroy Starling City. The future Team Flash, aided by the League, stop the army with an antidote for Mirakuru. Oliver tracks down Wilson, who offers him a choice of whom to save, Felicity or Laurel. The ever-capable Felicity changes the odds when she stabs Wilson with the cure, and Oliver opts to spare Wilson's life. He's sent to a supermax prison on Lian Yu, which Argus has been using for years. Turns out that it's really hard to kill Malcolm Merlin, who draws Thea in with the revelation that he's actually her real father. He uses a hypnotic plant to drug Thea, influencing her to kill Sarah without any memory of it. Sarah's death enrages the head of the League of Assassins, Raz Al Ghul, who demands retribution. Oliver eventually engages him in a duel and is badly beaten and left for dead. He is saved by former friends from Hong Kong that he had once rescued. Laurel starts her training as a vigilante and eventually joins Team Arrow as the Black Canary. Oliver reveals the truth about his own past to Thea, as well as what she did, and he trains her on Lian Yu. By League custom, Oliver is forced to become the new head of the League of Assassins. Seemingly leaving his own past behind, Oliver is actually working with Merlin to take down the League from the inside. In an epic battle, Oliver manages to kill Raz Al Ghul once and for all. In the aftermath, Oliver quits his role as the Arrow and runs off with Felicity to live happily ever after. Happily Ever After lasts about five months before Laurel and Thea beg Oliver and Felicity to come back and fight Damien Dark, a sorcerer and former assassin. This time, Oliver decides on a new identity, the Green Arrow. He vows to be a hero and symbol of hope for the newly named Star City. I am the Green Arrow. Dark's scheme involves worldwide nuclear devastation while saving a small number of people in an underground arc. He uses Laurel's father, Quentin, as an informant, threatening to kill Laurel if he doesn't comply. However, Oliver first has to help Barry, now known as The Flash, with the mystery of Kendra Saunders and the threat of Vandal Savage. During this team-up, Oliver is distracted because he's learned that he has a young son named William. William's mother, Samantha Clayton, had been paid to keep him hidden from Oliver. Oliver decides to run for mayor, but his opponent, Ruve Adams, happens to be Dark's wife. Dark kidnaps William and threatens to kill him if Oliver doesn't drop out of the mayoral race. Oliver complies, but he and the team keep fighting the seemingly invincible Dark. Quentin betrays Dark, and as promised, Dark kills Laurel. That galvanizes Team Arrow once and for all, as Oliver obtains light magic to counteract Dark's sorcery. Oliver kills Dark as the people of the city rush to his aid. With Dark finally defeated, Oliver is elected mayor. In order to grow Team Arrow, Felicity suggests a membership drive. Renee Wild Dog Ramirez, Evelyn Artemis Sharp, Curtis Mr. Terrific Holt, and Rory Ragman Regan join the team. Later, Team Arrow recruits a new Black Canary. Police officer Dinah Drake joins the team, and not a moment too soon. A new threat arrives in Oliver's life with a personal grudge, Prometheus. Laurel pops up alive, claiming that the Legends of Tomorrow pulled her out of the timeline to save her life. This is actually the sinister Earth 2 Laurel, the Black Siren. In a series of betrayals, Laurel and Evelyn are revealed to be working with Prometheus, along with Talia Al Ghul. Prometheus is Adrian Chase, Oliver's district attorney. It turns out Chase's father was one of the Hood's victims, so Adrian decides to engage in an elaborate revenge scheme destroying Oliver's life and trying to drive him insane. Eventually, they are lured to Lian Yu after William is kidnapped. William's mother is killed when Chase's death sets off bombs on the island. In an effort to get to know his son better, Oliver gives up being the Green Arrow and entrusts the job to Diggle. Oliver has a big problem to deal with, however. Super hacker Caden James and his crime empire. Oliver apparently killed James' son by accident, so James seeks revenge with his own team, the Black Siren, Anatoly, who feels betrayed by Oliver over a botched deal, and a quiet criminal named Ricardo the Dragon Diaz. It's revealed that Diaz is the real brains behind James' operation, having manipulated everyone else. Diaz either buys or blackmails everyone in the city government. Even worse, a lack of trust splits up Team Arrow as Renee, Curtis, and Dinah form their own team. Hope you find what you're looking for. Eventually, Black Siren and Anatoly switch sides and Diaz is defeated, but escapes. 
Oliver wakes up one morning and finds himself living in the Flash's life, and he soon discovers that the same thing has happened to Barry. They manage to convince everyone that they're not crazy and seek help from Supergirl, who understands what is happening. It turns out that a cosmic being named The Monitor has given deranged psychiatrist John Deegan a magical book that he uses to change reality. Eventually defeating him, Oliver makes a deal with The Monitor in exchange for Barry and Kara's lives. Diaz is killed in prison, but not before he reveals his connection with a shadowy figure named Dante, the leader of a terrorist organization called the Ninth Circle. Another green-clad archer appears. It's Emiko Adachi another half-sister of Oliver's, this time on Dad's side. She initially appears to reconcile with Oliver. I need to try and make things right. But is revealed to be the secret leader of the Ninth Circle. She eventually switches sides and forgives Oliver before she's killed by her own group. The bad guys are defeated, but the now married Oliver and Felicity go into hiding as she gives birth to their daughter, Mia. Oliver and Felicity are happy for a while with baby Mia, until the monitor comes calling. Oliver is needed to help stop the impending crisis on infinite Earths. He teams with Barry, Kara, Sarah, and a future version of Mia to defend Earth-38. After suffering a fatal wound helping to save billions of lives, Oliver's friends use a Lazarus pit to resurrect him. Before Oliver's soul is restored to his body, he decides to accept an offer to become the new incarnation of the Spectre, the cosmic personification of justice. With everyone else in existence annihilated, the Spectre rescues his surviving friends and they battle the Anti-Monitor, the cause of the crisis, shouting, Universe. Oliver defeats the Anti-Monitor and recreates all of existence. He also resurrects his mother, Tommy, and Emiko. A monument and eternal flame are erected for Oliver by Barry in the new headquarters of what will become the Justice League. In 2042, Felicity calls upon the Monitor to reunite with Oliver in the afterlife. And this time, they really do live happily ever after. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about the DC Universe are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.